my channel today. My name is Kalisu Sonyochi and I make videos on tech and how to make money on the internet. So this video is the part two of the Binance Futures Trading Tutorial. In my previous video, I made a video on how to execute futures trade on Binance platform. So I taught how to um, buy, how to sell, and then how to use leverage and all the rest of them. So here I'm going to talk about closing an open position on Binance Futures and how to sit, take profit and stop loss in order to automate your trade. So guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to close a trade that is currently running. Let's say you open the futures trade and you've made some good amount of profit and you wish to go out of the market. I'm going to teach you how to close the trade and how to set stop loss in case the market is going against you. So you wouldn't be liquidated entirely. Instead, some portion of your capital will be taken off and then you can continue later with the rest of the money remaining. So here, I'm going to teach you how to close the trade, how to set stop loss and then how to set take profit. All right? So remember yesterday, I opened the trade. Sorry. Remember in my previous video, I opened the trade with 5 USDT for the course of our tutorial. So I'm going to go back to that trade and then, so I'll go back to my trade by clicking on the features button here. And then I'll click on positions, as you can see on the screen here. So here you can see that I'm, I'm running on some loss, right? The red color implies that you are running on loss, whereas when it turns to green, it means you are running on some profit. So let's say I want to close this trade at this point in time. I'm going to click on this close position icon you can see here. All right. Okay. So when I click on it, so you will decide the percentage of um, the trade you would want to close. If you want to close everything, you could go ahead and click on this confirm button. Okay. So when you close at this point in time, you'll only lose the amount that has been highlighted in a red color here. All right. So once you close the trade, the remnant of your capital will remain there until next time you decide to execute a trade. So let's say you wish to set stop loss or take profit in advance. Uh, in case you are new to stop loss and take profit, what it does is that when you set a stop loss and the market eventually goes down against you, once the price you have set as your stop loss gets executed, the trade will end immediately, leaving you to lose some portion of the money, which is calculated according to the percentage used as your stop loss. So for take profit, you are setting a price in advance such that whenever the trade gets to that price, the trade will close automatically, leaving you with the profit that you have made. So stop loss and take profit are used to automate trades in case of profit or loss. So to set stop loss, you are going to click on this button here, where you have stop profit and loss, this button here, okay, you are going to click on it. Okay, when it gets to this interface, you are going to select the second option here by the right hand side, position TP slash SL. This option here, you're going to click here, all right? So at this point in time, you're going to specify a price at which you wish to close your trade, all right? So for take profit, you are setting a price that is higher than the current market price so that whenever the market gets to the price you have specified, the trade will close automatically, leaving you with the profit that you have made. Then for stop loss, which is this one below, you're going to use it to determine a price at which 
the market will fall down to and your clothes will your trade will close automatically so let's say i would want um, my trade to close at the point when this op price moves up to three usd that is three dollars so i'm going to type in three all right in this space and then you can see that it has been calculated to yield up to 37 usdt when the price of this coin gets to 3 usd so to set the stop loss you're going to select the lower button and then you're going to specify a price at which the trade will terminate in case the price falls against you so now i want a situation where my trade will close if eventually the market drops at 0 0.9 cents so i'm going to specify 0 0.9 here so this is telling me that i'm at 0 0.9 if the market eventually falls at 0 0.9 i'm going to lose about 6.90 usdt okay so the essence of setting a stop loss is to protect your capital against liquidation in case the market goes against you because sometimes your analysis could fail you despite how good you are in technical analysis and fundamental analysis so this is a very important tool to use in all your trades so as to protect yourself against liquidation and also to take benefit of the profit that you have made so you don't end up losing the entire profit if the market gets to a point and then start going down again so after specifying this amount here you're going to click on confirm which is this button i have here okay and then you have to click on confirm again and ladies and gentlemen that's it so if you slide back to the open orders you will see that i the prices i have set has been highlighted here such that when the market either goes up to 3 usdt my trade will close automatically and when it falls down to 0 0.9 cents my trade will as well close so as to protect my remaining capital so carefully follow these um, steps that i have specified here in order to reap more benefits from your futures trading if you have not subscribed to my channel i will encourage you to subscribe and then uh, click on the notification button so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a video this is because i have a lot of good things in stock for you guys thank you so much for watching and do not forget to subscribe to my channel i remain your friend kalistus onyochi from nigeria see you in my next video